these two diagnostic tools are fighting for your attention, your love and your money. Let's take a look at both of them, try to understand what they are capable of doing and also decide which one is best for you to have in your toolbox. On our left, the x 2 D7 and on our right, the Top Dawn RT Diag Pro. The x 2 D7 is something that I bought and I believe in and the Top Dawn is something that a friend of mine is using and he's swearing by it. So it will be a fight for survival between these two diagnostic tools. First, let's address the elephant in the room, price and where to buy them. At this moment in time, both of them are very comparable as pricing. The best place to buy the x D7 is AliExpress, links will be in the description. And the best place to buy the Top Dawn is eBay, again, links will be in the description. Price-wise, very similar um, as products, they are fighting for the same type of customer, they are entry-level diagnostic tools. Some of them call them bi-directional control and online programming mumbo jumbo. Uh, they will offer you the capability of diagnosing and testing actuator, doing some programming and maybe some coding. When it comes to comparing these two, we will take a look first at the specs. And here we're looking at seven inch screens. The top down looks better in my opinion. Same or similar processor, 1.6 and 1.5 on the other one. Two gigabytes of RAM, two gigabytes of RAM, 32, 32 of ROM. And we are starting to see our first major difference with regards to the operating system, Android 10 versus Android 7. This leads to the top down having a more simplistic uh, user interface whereas the X tool is capable of doing a little bit more functions and it's also capable of working as a tablet. Batteries, they are different, but it's a thing that doesn't matter because these tools will be connected to your OBD port and they will be permanently charging when you are doing that. Build quality and ease of use. Although I was considering the small form factor of the D7 as being a big selling point, after playing around with the top down, I believe that this one is the, use, the, the winner because it's more user oriented. This handle, lifesaver. When you look at it, you don't like it, but in reality, when you use it, uh, it's quite good. The size, just right. The, the length of the cable, it's, it's just perfect, just right. So you have enough room to connect it to your OBD port place it to the side of the seat and still be able to use the unit without getting the cable in between the pedals. If you're going on a test drive, if you want to do some data logging, that cable is much better with that length by comparison with the X2. But those are small things. We can live with both of them. Let's move further or let's move to the software and the basic function of performing diagnostics. These user interfaces will be different. I'm more familiar with my Xtool D7, but I need to give some uh, credit to also the Top Down software. They implemented some small interesting things that are useful when diagnosing. They will give you a battery voltage, which is a useful reminder that if you're diagnosing something and the engine isn't running, you might reach a critical um, battery voltage where the car will not be able to start or you will have all sorts of other problems. And also we are seeing that the software and this tablet is really designed to be easy to use. They have even a function of you just connect it to the vehicle and it automatically starts scanning everything and output, outputting it as a diagnostic report. So this software easier to use. However, the X tool gives you more customized and more complex functions that we are going to discuss a little bit later. I have compared these two by performing two more complicated tasks. I've tested the instrument cluster on the BMW and on an Audi A4 B8. We have performed an output test. Both of them passed it and both of them were capable of doing it. And after that, I wanted to do a function 
which is something that many of you will require when working on your vehicle. I wanted to prime the fueling system to simulate a change of um, diesel filter. In the beginning, I thought that Top Don was the clear winner, clear winner because the X tool failed to do that function on my BMW. However, after insisting a little bit and going in specific modules, I was able to get the X tool D7 to perform the same function. The key takeaway when doing this is that the Top Don as a software, as a tool, it's easier to use, the functions are easier to identify by comparison to the D7. The D7 had the function somewhere, but you needed more background knowledge to be able to access that function. Both of them are capable of generating reports that will be useful to send to a customer or keep as a history of what went wrong with your vehicle. The D7 gives you a little bit more room for maneuver allows you to change some of the information that you have in this report by comparison with the top tone. Both of them I've seen were capable of seeing the same DTCs on the vehicles that I tested. But I've noticed an interesting particularity with regards to the X tool. The X tool is more generous when it comes to electronic control units versus the top down. Why do I say this? The top down is capable of actually finding the modules that are on your vehicle, whereas the X tool D7 will give you in the list of ECUs that it has seen, ECUs that aren't fitted on that vehicle. Same story has been confirmed on the BMW and same, same story has been confirmed on my Audi that I've used for testing. Okay, reporting has been covered. Let's discuss the more complex, the more advanced diagnostic functions. So whenever you're having something that is really complex and strange as a, as a fault, you might want to go for live data. And when you're doing that, a key thing of that information that you are trying to assess is its refresh rate. By comparing these two diagnostic tools, with our reference being the accelerator pedal, I've noticed that the top down is quite laggy by comparison with the X tool D7. You can clearly see it in the videos that I'm going to show. This one takes far more time to refresh by comparison with the other one. Also, when we are logging more complicated information, the X tool gives you more freedom to access uh, live data. It's easier to search for live data in the software rather than going and scrolling until you find the information that you need. And also the X tool D7 is capable of outputting eight channels, eight types of information as a graph and record that one. So the winner when it comes to data logging is the X tool D7. And we reach one of the controversial functions which is specific to the X tool and that is mileage correction. So should you need it, you might be better off getting the X tool D7. Now, I hope that this video was useful and you have a little bit more knowledge about these diagnostic tools. When it comes to my choices of tools, I'm still staying with my X tool D7 because it has a special place in my heart. When it comes to my friend's opinion about diagnostic tools, he's still staying with the top down. So I really believe that there is value for both of these diagnostic tools. If you want to work with me on different projects or if you have a diagnostic tool that you want to share and allow me to compare it with one of mine, don't forget to get in touch using our social media or our website. And the same type of comparison will happen with your uh, diagnostic tool of choice. In the meantime, enjoy our content. And that being said, I hope to see you in the next one.